You know, I've been asked a time or two, Chance, what all you got growing in your garden? You sure you want to ask that? Come on, we'll show you what's growing out back. So I have seriously been asked this question <laughs> quite a lot. And I figure, you know what? Well, let's just walk up and down each row real quick as fast as I can for y'all. And I'm just gonna show you what we got going. And this is the back garden bed. I have a front garden bed. We'll do another video on that one. So not everything's back here. This one's about 26 feet by 52 feet. The front one's about 14 by 48. Plus we have that prototype bed. But you know, I, I split this up into just these 30 inch market garden style beds. I got some wood chips from this most amazing tree company in the world that happens to be located right here in Edom Claw. I'm gonna be filling up these aisles. But just real quick, you know, starting here, we, we got a couple San Marzanos that were left over and some Walla Walla onions. This is a row of bush beans that I've never tried. It's called Top Crop. And again, I've got some of these hanging baskets with some petunias, Shasta daisies I grew from seed. And then another cattle panel with some peas. A couple of them aren't looking so hot. This was kind of a leftover bed. I was gonna have a couple, uh, a couple boys of a friend of mine, they were gonna come plant this as their little project this year, but with what's going on, that's just not gonna work out for them. So I just kind of threw in what I had extra. Another, this is that, if you remember our, uh, one of our earlier videos, the tomato ICU unit. This is Lazarus. I'm giving him a chance at life next to his friend, eggplant. Another thing you can trellis up is uh, cucumber plants. Not a lot of folks uh, realize that. And then I've got a little one-year-old, so these skyscraper uh, sunflowers, I am excited to see his face on these. Now I've got broccoli, I kind of throw, you know, again, throwing some onions here and there. These are, uh, Brussels sprouts, these are bunching onions, walla walla onions, kohlrabis, celeries, man, I got a lot in here. Kale, uh, red Russian kale, blue curl kale. This bed, we got a good chunk of beets, good chunk of yellow onions. And then down at the end, I've got a mix of rainbow Swiss chard and uh, Swiss, uh, Fort Hook Swiss chard. A little empty spot here, I'm gonna plant some rutabagas. This is uh, just a few little rows of different lettuce. I want to try out and see which ones work best for us. There's mesculine, gourmet blend, and then a salad bowl blend. Some more kale, spinach. This kale, if you, you know, if you're coming around, these little tender little leaves here, that is a delicious garden snack. Part of my eating. And then this, you know, I showed those little, uh, these are little tomato cages that I wouldn't actually ever put a tomato plant in because they're just kind of on the small side. But these work great for peppers. I got California Wonder Peppers, Jalapenos, Poblanos, those two. Uh, Red Bull, Purple Beauty, and then Orange. And then we got a few beds where it's just a bed of everything. This is all Blue Lake Bush green beans. I can up a whole mess of those. You learn how to can, and we'll show you some stuff later on this year. Those make amazing meals, especially put them in a pint jar. We got two types of carrots: scarlet ant carrots, and imperator carrots. We got a couple of cabbage. If you can't tell, I do like cabbage. There's this meal called cabbage and noodles that's to die for. Some acorn squash. Now here's kind of like the experiment, and this is kind of the cool thing with gardening. You try something new. You want to see something in the store like, hey, I wonder if I can grow that. Try it. You know, here's some few rows, rows of golden wax beans. And then I got uh, some uh, kidney and pinto beans, actually. Everyone is snatching them up in the store. I'm like, hey, I wonder if I can just grow them. And I've got a cherry tomato plant. I actually bought a couple heirloom varieties and if you wonder what an heirloom variety is it's basically a seed that's never been bred with another seed uh, 
how do I, that's probably not the best way to put it, but it's just been handed down. It's not been a hybrid or anything. Uh, it's not been crossbred or any of that stuff. You know, this is one called Brandywine. I actually bought this one because I want to try them out before I commit to growing a whole bunch from seed. And then some of these are, this row is kind of the finish of mostly San Marzano. I don't like growing early girls in these cages, but I did have a few spots left over. And then you saw these in our other videos, the uh, companion plant. We got lettuce, spinach, onions, and tomatoes all grown in just one little garden plot. I won't hit these up too much on the side stuff, but the cabbages, onions, um, I've got a, some cherry tomatoes. This is a sun gold cherry I've been wanting to try. That's a Cherokee purple tomato. I'm kind of interested to see what, see what that does. There's some beefsteak tomatoes. Beefsteaks are big slicers. Um, early girls, are, to me, they grow really well here and they're kind of an all around. I use them for stewed tomatoes. And then all of this, uh, all this row is San Marzano. It's a plum tomato. It's gonna be really good for peeled bottled tomatoes and uh, actually jarring up some tomato sauce. Then this is kind of a squash pumpkin row. I've got butternut squash. Now these two, they're, these four plants here are all pumpkin, but you can kind of tell those are getting a little bit, a little bit bigger, but these are actually a pumpkin pie pumpkin. They don't get as big as what these are going to be, which is jack-o'-lantern. And they, uh, they're really just for um, canning pumpkin for pumpkin pies and whatnot. And if you don't have a big space, say you just live in an apartment, you know, get, get a couple of these. Um, I was ordering a bunch of pots this year and I just happened to see these on the website. I'm just using them these for uh, herbs. You know, I got some arugula on the top of that one. Here I got some dill, basil. We go through a lot of that. Marjoram, thyme, sage, more dill, uh, parsley. There's some cilantro in this other one. You know, it's really just kind of a nice, you know, nice thing to have in the garden. This arugula, if you like it, it's not every, arugula is not everyone's cup of tea, but, you know, grab you off a little leaf, you know, give you, give you enough food to make it back to the house. So I hope you guys uh, like this video, a little garden update. It's the 31st of May if you want a kind of a time reference. I'll do another one. Uh, later on and show you what we got growing up front. Have a great day, y'all.